Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and today I have a special treat for you guys. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Rival 500 MMO mouse, MMO slash MOBA mouse from SteelSeries. You guys know I've been waiting for this mouse. I don't know, it feels like it's been almost since I joined SteelSeries, since they started sponsoring me. Remember, SteelSeries is a sponsor. You can get 10% off if you're watching this on the live stream. Type exclamation mark SteelSeries in the Twitch chat. If you're watching it on YouTube, check the description. They've been sponsoring us for quite some time, and it's fantastic. As such, this is a sponsored video, but I've been waiting for this thing for so long. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to get right to unboxing it now. For uh, some of the finer details, and I'll be showing you this, uh, it has a total of 15 buttons, but that does include the actual left and right mouse clicks. Uh, now, if we look on the side right here on the back, it actually gives you a detail of where all the buttons are. <clears throat> As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right on the side. Then you have 1, 2, 3 on the top, excuse me. And then you have the mouse wheel. You have the mouse wheel can be tilted left and right, and then you have left and right click itself. Now that's actually fine by me because I never use. I usually use a standard 12 button MMO mouse. I never really use past six, so that kind of works for me. It's actually the perfect number. Now, now that I do the math, it's actually the perfect number for me. So, uh, what do you say we get right to the unboxing so we can actually see how it feels? And then with my professionalism, I can drop the scissors, which I'm now holding upside down. And you guys could be like, wow, that's so professional. I don't actually need scissors, but my nails aren't sharp, so I'm going to use the scissors because you guys have seen me unbox things before. And it could be the simplest contraption, and I just can't get it. So I'm going to cut all the stickers so that way I can get right to it. I am live streaming this on Twitch, as those of you on YouTube have probably figured out. And those of you on Twitch, you've probably figured out I'm posting this to YouTube by now. So uh, it's a bit different from our standard there we go bam let's slide it out come on work with me pal work with me I this is another thing that I always struggle with is actually like things that slide I'm always awful with them there we go Boop. I always love the steel series boxing though rise to the challenge rise now we all know that steel series mostly well before this has been all FPS mice so I'm kind of Hoping this will be the same power and precision as Steel Series standard FPS mice, which the Rival 700 fantastic precision. All right, so we have the Quick Start Guide, which you guys are probably not that interested in. Oh, look at that in the box! Look at it. I love Steel Series boxing. You should especially see the the headsets. The headset boxing is fantastic. Oh, that's pretty simple. I like that. All right, so empty box. You know, there's nothing else in here. Let's toss that aside. Mm. All right. Let's pull it. Oh, oh man. Okay, so the biggest difference with this one is the way that the mouse buttons actually go around the thumb. So it's meant to be something that you don't actually like have to, you know, do this with your thumb to press the buttons. It's meant to just kind of, you could slide your thumb around and use the bases of it. So for that, I'll show you this right here. That is where the buttons are. That is the six side buttons. So as you saw from the image, the all these on the outsider buttons and then also this one in the back is a button and then on top of that we have the button there and then two buttons here and then of course you could do the wheel left and right you could use the wheel itself as a button and then this is not necessarily a button if I recall uh, I didn't list it as one that's probably where the DPI settings are changed but I could be wrong and then on the bottom it also has a switch uh, which you can kind of see through because of the green screen um, that allows you to switch, I'd imagine, between uh, between the numpad and the top row of buttons. So, I'm gonna let me let me just put it down real quick and tell you how it feels. Obviously, I don't have the best camera set up here, so I just want to put it down, rest my hand on it. Okay. Okay. So it works pretty well. Uh, especially the buttons at the top of the thumb. I basically can just roll my thumb up and down. Um, it's really hard to show because it's not like this is a camera where I could do that. So, yeah, as you can see with the top buttons, it, it rolls those two really well. It kind of makes me wish that this, where the base is, was a button because um, I feel like having those three buttons that easily accessible is the best. As soon as you get towards the middle button and the back buttons, my with my hand size, it's a little bit more difficult. That being said... I also am not used to a mouse that actually is wrapped around the thumb in a sense because that's what it is. It's wrapped around the thumb essentially. So you never have to like, you never have to like make that that indent or that uh, you never have to move the joint. 
And then when it comes to the top buttons, the top buttons around the index finger, uh, the way I hold my mouse is actually it's very close. That's the way I usually hold my mice, like that. So I have a hard time hitting this button, which I do on like every mouse that ever has a button there. But these two buttons right here are actually in a pretty good spot for me. I already have an idea of what I'm going to bind those two in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, and other than that, the mouse is a decent size for me. Uh, the Rival 700 was larger than this in terms of length, but the Rival 500 is more compact, which is kind of right. And compared to the MMO mouse I had before, it is the same, it is essentially the same size. So my hand still fits around it pretty well. It's a decent adjustment. And overall, I know what else the Steel Series mice can do. So I'm actually, again, really excited for the precision of the mouse. Uh, especially because if you guys remember the Rival 700 review that I did, I actually mentioned something called tactile alerts, and I did a whole explanation of the Steel Series software, which I'm not going to do in this video. This does indeed use the tactile alert system. So for those of you playing, any of the games that are supported by Steel Series Tactile Alerts, which I'm actually still kind of curious about. I want to see. I'm pretty sure that World of Warcraft is on that list, meaning that you can essentially set it so that the mouse will vibrate uh, upon certain things. Like you can make, oh, my cooldown just became available. Mouse uh, vibrates. And I know that a lot of people use UI functions for that, but then even then, any sort of reminder is generally welcome when playing World of Warcraft. All right, let's see. Game scene, my gear, Rival 700. I'm going to look at the Rival 700 device configurations to try and see if I can uh, figure it out. Let's see. Library, game scene. Yep. So they have CSGO, Dota 2, and Minecraft. I don't know if World of Warcraft is going to be added to this as well. I would really like if SteelSeries could somehow make a way to program them regardless of game. I don't know if that's possible to develop or if they really need the developers in order to work on that. But, uh... Okay, so it looks like Counter-Strike and Dota are the two major games that it actually supports. We all know Valve is really good at supporting things like that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, I guess I was wrong about the World of Warcraft thing. Hopefully, uh, they can join it, or hopefully SteelSeries can develop the tactile alerts to be something a little bit more dynamic. Because that's honestly one of the features I look forward to most on the new SteelSeries mice is the tactile alerts. But either way, in terms of an MMO mouse, 80 bucks for anyone looking at the price point. Obviously, with the 10% off that you get because I'm sponsored. That's only $72 plus shipping. And then on top of that, it fits pretty much the same as another mouse. It'll probably take some getting used to for a lot of people with the thumb, but I'm kind of getting used to it already, even just as I'm doing this review. Uh, and obviously, I need to do a performance review separately because I'm about to, on the live stream side, I'm about to play some Final Fantasy XII, and I don't think I need an MMO mouse to play that on my PS2. Okay, so anyway, that's going to be a wrap for that. Let me just see if there's any little finer details that I should add, so maybe something from the start guide. The button locks, plug and play, Steel Series engine, we all know that. I just went over that. Let's see if there's anything specifically from the box that I want to read. Next, next gen button layout, best optical gaming sensor, which we kind of expect when it comes to Steel Series, just because that's what their high quality has been known for in the past, especially with FPS games. Um, yeah, and then tactile alerts, prism RGB illumination, ergonomic side buttons. Yep, just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything that's right on the box itself. But anyway, guys, no, and then my chat, by the way, my live chat just said me no shipping cost for base shipping package. I'm just reading exactly what Granny McGrindy is saying right there in my chat right there. So if you're interested in it, you could pre-order it. The mouse officially comes out on October 15th. And if you buy through the link, you'll also, if you, and you use the code MrHappy10 or if you type exclamation mark steel series in the chat it'll show it right now uh you can save 10 percent on it and on top of that support the channel but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video this little unboxing we have of the rival 500 looking forward to testing it in the next raid tier in final fantasy 14 because that is the real test but anyway i got a live stream to get to so thank you for joining me and i'll see you guys on youtube next time twitch let's start the stream